So what, does Sally have one more day of, of rainfall? Well, it's slowly starting to clear out. Uh, but of course, on the heels of Sally, the last thing anybody wants to talk about is another slow moving system, because that's what caused all those issues was how slow moving Sally was. We'll get to Tropical Depression 22, which is definitely showing some signs of being a slower system in just a moment. But first, let's start off with something good. It feels great out there. We have temperatures right now generally in the 70s, low 80s at the coast, but you're going to feel that drop in humidity. It'll be a big part of our forecast for this afternoon and also for Saturday. This afternoon, Afternoon seasonable heat will be around 90 degrees, but keep in mind gorgeous sunshine and lower humidity. Tomorrow morning, we're waking up in the 60s. Get up early and enjoy it. We do have some showers and thunderstorms that are right offshore. They have clipped, uh, clipped Surfside Beach this morning, and that's possible throughout the morning hours. You might see a little bit of rain just directly at the beach in coastal areas of Brazoria County. This is wrapping around Tropical Depression 22, which is just off to our south. The winds are at 35 miles per hour. Once we get to 39, it will get the name Wilfred, and we're anticipating that happening sometime today, if not uh, early tomorrow morning. It is forecasted to become a Category 1 hurricane, and then at the end of the track, notice that it really just explodes. A very large circle starts to develop. That indicates that this is going to be a slow-moving, meandering system, and it also indicates that there's a lot of uncertainty to the forecast, especially when we're talking about the track on day 3, 4, and 5. And there's a big difference if it's inland or if it's out in the central portions of the Gulf of Mexico. There's a huge spread here, so make Make sure that you're engaged over the weekend because we'll have more information. But as of right now, we are in the cone as we get closer to day four and day five. Cold front has rolled through. That's going to provide a beautiful day tomorrow. And then it also sets up the steering. We have a ridge of high pressure behind that cold front, which would technically push it down to the south and maybe into southern portions of Texas or even north Mexico. But the question is, how strong is that uh, area of high pressure? And also, how strong is this area of high pressure that's over the southeast? We just don't know which one is going to be winning out and that's why there's a lot of uncertainty to the path. What will help us gain more certainty is what happens when it actually turns into a tropical storm. That's when the computer models tend to do a little better with the system, and also we need more air aircraft reconnaissance to really fly in there and get us that red raw data and that's going to be happening over the next 24 to 48 hours so again make sure that you're just staying up to date with the forecast as we go into the weekend but this is the potential for the rainfall over the next seven days because keep in mind this is a slow moving system and we have some higher rain chances all the way through next week we could be seeing maybe eight to ten inches of rain south of i-10 spread out over many days so we need to watch it closely what we do know is that this weekend we'll start to feel some coastal impacts we could see some washover on some of the low-lying roads, especially Blue Water Highway 87. Make sure that you watch it closely. Beach erosion is possible. And also we'll have tides running about four to five feet above their normal levels. If you are going to be going down to the beach this weekend, we have beautiful weather, but stay out of the water. We will have very dangerous rip current risk, but temperatures will be in the mid 80s. We'll start to work in those rain chances on Sunday. Again, that is going to be associated with Tropical Depression 22, but the heaviest rainfall potential would be the early to middle part of next week. Over to you, Anna Vita.